Good morning. It is Monday. I missed a whole day of vlogging yesterday because I was pretty rough. I was talking about maybe going down to Manchester. So I never went because I was so hungover. And in essence, it was to go down an audition for a Netflix show. Um, and just the thought of like literally going a four hour drive or whatever, hungover, hungry, was not happening. So me and Stevie Wee Wee just had a wee day to ourselves and chilled out, which is good. So now it is Monday, I'm not starting work till 12. So I'm just going to go to the gym just now and get this Chinese out of my system. I swear Chinese makes my skin hurt like, I think it's the salt, but like everything's sore to the touch and it's always after I've had the Chinese. Has anybody else got that or is it just me being a weirdo? So yeah, gonna go to the gym, get back on track, tidy because place is an actual bottom site, um, and then go to work. Happy Monday. <laughs> Hi. Doing that cool thing. One. I am so tired. I literally drove to like the gym and was just like, not today. So I then drove past the gym and came home and never napped. It's hard some days. Like it's hard some days to like just do everything you want to do. So. I'm hormonal, the time of the month. I'm tired, I had a really busy day at work and I just did not want to go so I chose not to, which is okay. Sometimes you just don't have to go. So I've actually been dozing on the naps since I came in. I'm just waiting for Stephen to finish work as usual. And then I'm going to eat, actually I'm going to put some food on just now because I'm hungry. I guess I just wanted to let you all know that sometimes you just don't have to be an adult and you just don't have to do the shit you're meant to do and I did that today because I didn't feel well and was hormonal and just wanted to doze with my blanket and my cat so do that and it's only Tuesday which is depressing <sighs> Hello. oh you're my favourite you're my favourite. This is what I need to deal with. This is what I need to deal with. Cat. Why do they do that? So I was just having a swatch to kind of see what Nick was in. And, well you can't really see it how one. It could be a lot worse. Considering how much I've been drinking. I really can't see any abs anymore but Definitely could be a lot worse considering how much I've drank. Plus it's my time in the ones. That's okay in it. That could be a lot worse. But that's still a kind of a bleak. I am very bloated though because obviously it's my time in the ones. But oh wow. I'm really not feeling great today at all, like obviously trains and stuff, but I went to work and I have never been so tired in all my life. Like to the point where I mounted the curb. Oh, sausages. I mounted the curb because I was so tired. Like, not a good place to be. Kick my feet. Plus, um, I woke up with quite a sore throat. Like, it felt like my glands were quite swollen. So, I don't know. I'll wait and see. Oh, that's your potatoes. I'll wait and see how I feel tomorrow. But, I might take tomorrow's an hour day because I think. My body's trying to tell me it's a what apply. Oh, here we go. So prior to running this bath, so I'm not very well. Like you can hear that I'm wee bit up. I just feel pretty shitty. Oh, that's like there. Oh. So I'm not feeling the best. I felt a bit shitty yesterday. Well, I felt a bit crap the past couple of days. I thought it was hormonal. Yesterday I felt a bit shit. I trained anyway. Today I feel like absolute dug meat, so I've messaged Rosie just to say I'm probably going to take a couple of days off training. I feel like I could train, but I don't want to make myself worse, so I always feel really guilty. So like I messaged her just saying, FYI, I'm probably going to take a couple of days off, 
I'm just not feeling like 100%. I probably could train, but I don't want to make myself worse. I'm just telling you this so I've got a clear conscience and I feel less guilty. So, yeah, so that was fine, right? So I leave work and I'm like, right, I'm fucking buzzing. I'm going to go home. I'm going to have a big bubble bath. I haven't had a bath in forever. Life's good. I pull up home and realise I don't have house keys. <laughs> I don't have house keys. So I must have left some work. So then, poor Stephen, who's meant to be just going straight to the gym, I had to come and let me in. That's fine. I get in and I'm like, yes, I'm going to run my bath. To discover, well, firstly, I discovered that the cat had destroyed the clothes horse, so there's fucking shit everywhere. And then I discovered that she shat in the bath. Why? Did anybody else's cat shit in the bath? That's twice she's done it. Twice she's done it in the past week. So I've then had to full scale bleach the bath. Now I've got my jacket off. I'm hungry. I just want to have a bubble bath and watch some YouTube videos and chill the fuck out. And the cat's shit in it. Now she's trying to be my best pal. This vlog, I'm really sorry, it's been so boring this week, but I've not been well <laughs> and I've just been working, so there's nothing else I can really do. But at least it's Friday tomorrow. I'm going to weigh myself in the morning, so I'll do that and I'll show you as it happens. Um, I'll weigh myself tomorrow just to check in with Rosie and then I'll wait and see how I feel tomorrow. I might train after work, I might not. Oh my god, my face looks such a mess. Sorry, anyway. What is it, cat? Huh? Seriously? Okay, so I've just weighed myself, as you'll see. 59, ooh, badly. 59.3, just close. <clears throat> 59.3, which is officially like, I don't know, 6.3 kilos up from a stage weight. So I can't lie, I'm not like thrilled about it. I'm not over the moon. Um, it's made me feel quite uncomfortable. I'm not exactly thrilled, but there's nothing I can really do. So I'll send my check into Rosie and see what she says. Um, I guess I'm just getting nervous because I'm, the closer I get to my starting weight from before, I know how hard that was to get off. So I guess I just don't want to be in the position where my starting position's not the base. Wait and see. I don't know if I'll ever wake up today. In other news, but in other news, it is Friday. Genuinely thought this day would never come. I am so happy. So, so happy. My hair is mental because I went to bed with it wait last night and I ain't doing shit. Not doing shit to it. Oh, how disgusting that sounds. So, I'm gonna go to work. I'm gonna get shit done. And then we'll come home. Well, that's if I can find my house keys. Um, I might go to the gym, I'll wait and see how I feel. But I think I should probably have another race night. Jesus. I'm not well. I sound even worse today, don't I? Ugh. Let's do that. I'm not very well. I am. Um, like. I feel like the side of my throat is swollen. And I've got like fucking wisdom tooth pain. So this is my third day off the gym. Wow, I look dreadful. This is my third day off the gym. I'm going for a sports massage today. I need to get my keys cut, seeing as I've lost my keys. And I'm going to meet Shannon for hugs with Cody and some coffee. I'm so excited. I've got a really sore tooth. Oh, I think I need to go to the dentist.
actually. Fuck. I'm almost ready. I'm just making my meal too. It's not lunch, it's not breakfast, it's kind of between brunch, which is tuna pasta. I'm gonna go get my sports massage off of Shannon uh, Lawson. So there's two Shannons today, just to be super confusing. So I'm gonna go get my first sports massage, which will make me feel super good. And then I'm gonna meet Shannon. And then I'm gonna chill out. I could, I feel like I could, again, I could train, but this is the worst I've felt. So if I didn't train yesterday, why would I train today when I feel worse? Like, why? Mmm, how good does that look? Tuna pasta, Domio no sugar, thingamabobber, and mm, cheese. Ha, <laughs> two grams of cheese. Nom, 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 nom. So, hello. Is that bear? Is that bear? Is that bear? Is that bear? Oh, so I'm just in. Um, went for my massage and it was very good. I literally could like, no matter how sore it is, whatever, lie there forever. So, went and seen Shannon. We've got some work to do just with kind of releasing one of my sides, my left side I think, um, which is quite tight, kind of driven by my glutes. So next time we're going to do a T-band release, which I've had before, and it's very sore. And next time I'll bring my camera along so that you can all laugh and see me get fucking tortured. Um, so really, really good. If you need somebody for a right good doing, sports massage wise, I would highly recommend Shannon. Um, also, if you kind of see that you've been referred by me, you'll get 15% discount. Who's that? It's not bad attempt, is it? A wee smoky eye. Say hi, Stephen. Hi, Stephen. <laughs> I'm so short. Massive question here. What? Is there anybody else that doesn't know the words to Eminem Stan? I do know the words, Stephen. I just get confused. Cat, <laughs> cat, don't do the circus. Yeah, you do.